Today, we're going to look at a body viz brain builder about the meninges and an epidural injection. The meninges protect the central nervous system, which is composed of the brain and spinal cord. The meninges are composed of three layers of membranes, the dura mater, the arachnoid mater, and the pia mater. The meninges can also be divided by the cranial and spinal meninges, which are continuous with each other at the foramen magnum. Let's learn about each of the layers of the meninges. The most superficial meningeal layer is the dura mater. The cranial dura mater has two layers and is composed of a fibrous connective tissue. The outer layer is the periosteal dura and is fused with the periosteum, lining the cranium. This outer layer only surrounds the brain and does not extend to the spinal cord past the forema magnum. The inner layer is termed the meningeal cranial dura. The dural sinuses are located between the layers of the dura. These sinuses contain interstitial fluid and blood. The veins of the brain drain into these sinuses, which then drain into the internal jugular veins. The next layer of the meninges that is deep to the dura mater and superficial to the pia mater is the arachnoid mater. The arachnoid matter is composed of simple squamous epithelium. Deep to the arachnoid matter is a subarachnoid space, which contains web-like extensions connecting the arachnoid to the pia mater. Cerebrospinal fluid, which is abbreviated as CSF, fills the subarachnoid space. CSF is a solution of dissolved oxygen, carbon dioxide, chemical messengers, and nutrients for the central nervous system, as well as transportation for waste from the CNS. The pia mater is the deepest meningeal layer and is attached to the surface of the brain and spinal cord. This layer is highly vascular, with blood vessels supplying the spinal cord and brain with blood. Next, let's learn about what an epidural injection is and why someone may receive one. Then, we will give a patient and procedure example. An epidural injection is a method of administrating medicine into the epidural space, typically for pain relief. The epidural space is between the outermost meningeal layer, the dura mater, and the inside surface of the bone in which the spinal cord is located. Anesthetic is administered into the epidural space through a catheter preventing the transmission of sensor information by the spinal nerves at the site of the injection. The epidural usually stops someone from feeling pain in part of their body for either a short or long period of time. Reasons why people receive epidurals include during or after surgery, during childbirth, herniated discs, joint cysts, bone spurs, thickening ligaments caused by spinal arthritis, or to manage chronic pain from a pinched spinal nerve. Finally, let's take a look at a patient and procedure example. You are on call at the obstetrics unit of the hospital. One of the nurses informs you that a soon-to-be mother in labor is requesting an epidural. You look at the patient's file and take a look. Age, 27. Gender, female. Dilation, 7 centimeters. She has only moved one centimeter in the past four hours and has been in labor for seven hours already. She is tired and in pain and requests an epidural to help. You believe the epidural will be an effective pain management option based on how slow the labor has progressed. Nurses help you position the patient on her side safely. An anesthesiologist numbs the skin with a local anesthetic. Then, the anesthesiologist places a needle between the bone of her spine into the epidural space. A tiny catheter is placed while the needle is removed. The tube is taped into place and remains during labor and delivery. It takes approximately 10 minutes for the epidural to be placed and 20 minutes after it is placed for the patient to experience relief. Continuous doses of medication are administered through the catheter throughout the remainder of the labor. The patient's pain is reduced and the labor continues for another five hours. The delivery goes normal and your patient delivers a healthy baby boy. This is a classic example of an epidural injection during childbirth. For more 3D anatomy and patient case examples, please like this video and subscribe to our BodyViz channel.